There's so much to learn about the Star Wars universe that's a lot of fun. You might wanna buckle up, baby. Alden, thank yes. you so much for joining me in Odeon Cinemas. Talk all things solo. Um, did Harrison Ford have any words of wisdom for you? He said, if anyone asked, tell him I told you everything you need to know mm -hmm. and that you're not allowed to say a word. Oh. Well, what do you know? How do you go about preparing for a role like this? Well, I think, you know, with this character, like, it, you know, because he's in the other films, it's going back to the originals and trying to absorb as much as I could of all those and then kind of really concentrate on this particular story and what's happening here and making it your own. I'm putting together a crew. You in? So I'm going to give you a couple of quick fire questions. Yes. Who is most likely to win in a dance-off? Donald Glover. He's definitely the most likely to win at a dance up. I think the world at this point knows that. I was expecting it to be a little. Yeah. Um, okay, so who is most likely to win in a fight? Jonas, probably. Okay. He's, so, he's the biggest one, you know. We also all did karaoke, the whole cast, and I have to say Who's Donald. the best at karaoke? Donald. Yeah, obviously that's a silly question. I think I was probably the worst by far. Who is most likely to burst into song and dance randomly? Kind of Woody, actually. Okay. Yeah, Woody sings. I whistle a lot. I'm always sort of whistling without knowing it. And uh, Woody and I would sing a lot of uh, Neil Diamond songs. Who is most likely to laugh during a really serious scene? Woody Harrelson. <laughs> easily. Easily. I thought it easily. might be him. E easily. Just even at sort of the hint of something being funny. I thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. Oh. And if you could describe the film in just three words for us, how would you think? A lot of fun. I got a really good feeling about this. Why do you think it's so important for people to see it on a big screen at Odeon? I think if you don't see it on a big screen, you're missing a lot of like the enjoyment of it. I think there's so many great effects, and you actually are seeing, you know, these worlds that they've created are so stunning visually, and you're, it's so immersive. It's such an incredibly immersive experience that getting to see it like that is really the whole experience.